to further go through my lineup of Beast Wars and Beast Wars related toys for the 25th anniversary, we bring you Transmetal 2 Cheetor. Transmetal 2 Cheetor is... I, I don't even know how to describe how animalistic he was in the cartoon. Um, he almost was kind of almost feral in the cartoon. And I had to go back and re-watch some stuff and reread some stuff about him before I wanted to do this. But at this point, you know, he's basically a um, teenage version, maybe early 20s version of Cheetor with uh, all this further mutation going on. Um, and then it's affecting his mind and he's becoming more feral and attacking people and uh, attacking friend and flow alike. But this is the bot. So we've got, and he's, this is a very well played with toy if you couldn't tell by the purple chrome being destroyed. Uh, he's also, he's missing the, he has a gun, he's missing that. It's supposed to have a thing that attaches here, I think it might be where the gun attaches, and then a tail piece, he's missing that. I mean, I can make the tail piece, I can probably make the piece for that. I mean, it's me, but I just haven't. Um, the articulation's not great. This is a ball joint, but, and you get a ball joint down here, but there's so much crap in the way. That it's really, they didn't, it's like they didn't know how to make ball joints back then. So it's mostly for rotation and a little bit of up and down, but not very much. You got the, and this is beast mode, by the way. <laughs> and you've got the little claws things here and little armor pieces. You've got blades coming off the back of his arms. Uh, lots of rotate, lots of articulation in the legs. A lot of that has to do with transformation though, so that you can have him stand up. Uh, little gimmicky features, if you can see the. Let me move a light. The maximal in, the, in this little shiny spot here, he does not have that on this side. Just like this armor piece, he doesn't have it on this side. A weird asymmetrical things they had going on. That's Transmetal 2 Cheetor in Beast Mode. Let's take a look at Robot Mode. Alright, here's Transmetal 2 Cheetor in Beast Mode. So he's got... Now, if you'll notice that his right and left have swapped on the arms, but not on the legs. The transformation's a little bit weird. There's a weird flip thing you do at the same time where you're hiding the beast mode, which the beast mode head is completely gone. It's it's caved, it's caved crammed up into this cavity. So you have wrist rotation here, but you don't on this side. This just, oh my god, goes like this. Uh, ball joints in the shoulders. Uh, again, the ball joint and the elbow, but you can't even get straight arms. It just doesn't work that way. It's The, the ball joint's very, very, very limited. Um, the legs, you could do a couple different things with the legs. You can have him kind of stand up like this. If you wanted to make him a little bit shorter, you could have him like this. He can still do some of the more animalistic posing if you really wanted him to. Um, he, he's meant to just kind of stand up like this with his legs, or if you look at the way his legs are. That's what you get. They don't, they don't straighten out. The arms don't straighten out. But that's Transmetal 2 Cheetor in robot mode. So now let's grab some other... Ah! Robots. For scale. And I will say, uh, the robot mode on this one is... It's okay. Like, look at the face. The face sculpt is really cool with that snarl on... Like, the half snarl going on. And the... The mechanical bits underneath the flesh is like the detail for what this is is really cool. Uh, let's get some bots for scale. All right, so for scale, let's do. Here's how he is with Generation Selects G2 Ramjet because that's a beautiful figure. Here's how he scales with the Kingdom uh, Hasbro version of. War for Cybertron Kingdom Cheetor. Here he is with the Walgreens Red Alert. And let's see who else. Um, how about go find one of these? Not again, dude. Can you stop doing this, please? Yeah, I know. Interrupting dinosaur. 
anyway, here he is with the Siege Blue Streak. Just kind of show off some scale. And let's see, just for, for shits and giggles, here's how he scales with the arc. There. Scale. So, um, this is one of those figures I was never looking for. It's one of those ones where I've said before, I, I go through bins. Whenever I find bins at um, collector stores or Salvation Army or, you know, pretty much any place I find just a bin of toys, I'll dig through it and look and see what I find. And that's where I actually found him, was in just a, a bin of toys, loose the way he is. So I picked him up. I think I paid a couple dollars for him. Um, he's missing all of his accessories, like I said. Uh, he's got this gun or something on the back, and his tail's a weapon, but and his, his purple chrome is just destroyed. But there he is. So that is Transmetal 2 Cheetor. He's a pretty cool little bot. This isn't one I usually display just because the chrome really is. It's destroyed. The purple is just gone. Which is just purple over chrome, so it doesn't look that bad. But there's parts where the chrome is down to the white plastic, too. So, it is what it is. Again, uh, go check out tformers.com. They're doing a 25th anniversary of Beast Wars, and that's kind of what I'm going to focus on this month for the 25th anniversary. Go check them out. And don't forget to like and subscribe and YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. And uh, check out the links below for the Etsy store. Uh, there should be a video link somewhere, like here or here, for the t-shirt giveaway for TFCon this year. I will be at TFCon. I'll be giving out limited edition versions of my roller to anyone I see wearing a t-shirt, a Viratox t-shirt, which you can buy on Teespring. Uh, link should be below, too. And good night.